Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Catty Crypto here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I am seeing new people joining all the time. So welcome if you're new. I really appreciate you subscribing and supporting the channel and helping us grow. It's so important for us to grow as a community to keep pushing forward. So I'm seeing this and I think I've discussed this once before previously on the channel, but not really addressed it in its own specific video. So there was a video up recently and I can't find it for some reason. And I think it was Jacob Gallican that put it up saying that he was, he recently figured out that all nodes provide the hosting space for a lot of different nodes inside the LUNC community. And that this is a big problem because more or less they could just decide that for whatever reason that they're just going to control all of these nodes all of a sudden and not only use their voting power, but the remaining voting power that is from what people are starting to believe is under all nodes control. So <clears throat> first of all, I have contacted all nodes. I have reached out to them and asked them to address this publicly because it needs addressing and they need to address this situation. I think a Twitter space would be good. If not a YouTube live, whatever, however they want to handle it, that's down to them but I do think it needs addressing. For now, I'm going to address it in my own way because I, as you guys know, use all nodes to host our validator as do a lot of people in the LUNC community. Now, firstly, what we need to ask ourselves is how many different blockchains are all nodes involved with? Well, quite a lot. So if we go onto their website, we can see that if you wanna rent a node, OK, and when you rent a node, what happens is the node is created for you and then they give you the keys. They give you everything. We'll get onto that shortly and how that's done. They give you the keys and then that node belongs to you. If you fail to pay your monthly node rental, they will no longer host your node, meaning your node would become inactive. So therefore, you would need then to figure out how you're going to host that node yourself. Right. So. They don't have control over any of our nodes. Okay, they're not suddenly going to decide to themselves, well, let's just throw away our multi-million dollar business because we want control over one specific blockchain, which realistically, as you can tell, they're not interested in making any money from any of this. They haven't been since time began for them. They've always been a 0% commission node. They pushed that up to 5% to show the community that having a 0% commission rate is not good. And it just leads to the same thing as the situation that they're in. Now, they are going to be raising that to 10%, but getting back onto subject and, and not going off onto tandems, they do it. They provide this service for so many different blockchains, right? Why are they going to risk everything? Okay. Then use all of our seed phrases that they would have had to have kept. OK, and we'll get onto that shortly. They would then have to, you know, log each one of these nodes in on a ledger. And then we would see them voting. We would know someone is changing our votes. We would know something's wrong, right? We could track the transactions. We could see who's logged in. We would know. OK, it's not rocket science for. To put, you know, two and two together and get four, right? It, it's really not. So I just don't understand this kind of motive right now behind it. Yes, they provide a lot of the different node hosting for a lot of people. Do they control the nodes? No, of course they don't. So when you first create a node with them, the first thing they're going to make you do is create a key base account with a PGP key. OK, anything that's then said between you and all nodes from that point onwards has to happen within a certain period of time on key base under that specific conversation. Okay. When it comes time, you've paid for the service. They create the node. You're then sent to everything on Keybase. They give you 24 hours. I think I was given to do what I needed to do with that information. And then it was deleted forever. If you Google Keybase, Keybase is an end to end in encryption service. Governments use it. All types of different people use it. It's flawless. You know, they, they do this as their business. Why are they going to throw everything away to control a little bit extra voting power on Luna Classic? It makes no sense whatsoever. And I'm not poking and prodding at anyone. J um, Jacob, if you're listening, I'm not poking and prodding at you. I just simply wanted to address the situation from where I'm sitting as someone that 
rents his node hosting servers from all nodes, it's 100% safe to do it this way for us. We don't have to worry about having a really good internet connection. We don't have to worry about power outages. We don't have to worry about machines going down. We don't have to worry about all of these different kind of little updates, which everybody has to do the same anyway. And if you was running a malicious update, you would therefore be jailed because your update software is not the same as the rest of the validator set. So it just kind of all contradicts itself. It's... It's not something I believe we need to worry about, but I do believe all nodes need to address it because me telling the community this and then them actually addressing it's two completely different things. It does need addressing before it starts running away onto its own tandem of it being, oh, you know, it's the Senate. They're trying to take control and all of these different things. It just simply doesn't work like that. They're not going to throw away this huge business everything that they do, all of the different hostings that they do across board to play dirty in Luna Classic. It just makes no sense. And bearing in mind, they work inside Luna as well. They're highly trusted across so many different places. And there's a reason why so many people trust them anyway. And they've got a lot of voting power, which obviously is delegates. And the reason why they have so much is because they've always been around. Like they've been there, I think, since Columbus 1. So we're on Columbus 5. There's been four updates previous to this. Phoenix is a, one is a completely separate blockchain. That will likely end up as like Phoenix 2, then Phoenix 3, then 4, so on, so forth. You get the point. But the moral I think of this video to take away from this is all nodes are not bad people and they definitely don't control any of our nodes, nor do they have the ability to log into any of our nodes, use our seed phrases to do anything. Only I have those. They have deleted them. And we have to, you know, I can't say to you, they've definitely done that, but it's one of those ones. It's a company, right? It's like, why would they do? It just makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. How comfy all nodes are, the situation surrounding them, how well they're doing and how well they've done. It makes no sense. Jagmot's an awesome guy. When we are setting up our node, he helped with so many different things. He helped in my understanding of how everything works, how all of the different kind of everything, the sentry nodes, everything's awesome guy. I just don't see any of it. It just doesn't make any sense. So hopefully this, I'm not saying this needs to nip it in the butt, but hopefully we get an explanation and it raises awareness that no one is in control of our voting power, but the people inside the HCC factory, which is myself, Clueless and Strafe Cole. And we combine together to make that vote each time. Folks, have a really nice day wherever you are. It's Friday. I think I might do a live stream later on today. We've also got around a one hour podcast episode coming out at some point today. Uh, that's with Duncan, who's been doing the USTC uh, repeg proposals and ideas and everything surrounding that. Really interesting listen. I think if you're interested in moving forward as a community and giving people a reason to... Do things that will make them more money and then in turn <clears throat> that will create microtransactions which lead to bigger burns. You know, it's an absolute no-brainer, just like what I've been saying here about all nodes. Hopefully this shines a different light on it instead of people just acting kind of confused as to all nodes being some sort of <clears throat> Star Wars menace. Have a really nice day. None of this is financial advice. Beware of scammers, doppelgangers, anybody pretending to be me. Don't forget to subscribe if you feel like it and you like the channel. It really does help us grow. Drop a like on the way out. It helps other people see the content. Guys, catch you in the next one. Our revenge is made possible by listeners like you. By listeners like you. Our revenge is made possible by listeners like you. Listeners like you, how we tend to be possible. I listeners like you.